Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how you can create Jira issues from the Confluence page. So before we proceed further, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by Jexo, an innovative company that builds work planning apps for Jira Cloud such as Foxly. Foxly is a plug and play prioritization and planning app designed to take the guesswork out of the prioritization so that every backlog item counts. Check the link or description below for more on Foxly. Thank you. So let's get started. This is very very important activity that you might be performing within your project especially if you are a product owner, scrum master or a product manager who wants to add the issues from the confluence and then add the bulk issues or single issue. So there are a lot of possibilities. So let's go ahead and understand how you can go ahead step by step and create the issues from the confluence page. So here I am in the Jira project. So if I go to this particular project A, this is what we have been using throughout the integration and then other tutorials. So on this project, if I go to the backlog, these are a couple of issues that are there, right? So there are there is a defect task and two stories. Now say for example, as part of this whole project, I need to create a lot of issues within this particular project. So one way is within the project, you just keep creating issues from here in the backlog and then mapping them to the epic. So basically you can go to the epic. If I go to epic panel, so I enable it, right? And I can create the epic directly from here. And then from those epic, I can go to the epic and create the issues from here as well, right? But this is more of a tedious work. And then tomorrow, you have to go back to the confluence page and if you want to add all of these issues on the confluence page you have to go ahead and add them separately the better way is you go to the confluence page and add the issues in bulk from the confluence page so I'll show you how you can add a single issue from the confluence page into this particular project or bulk issues or the multiple issues okay so we will simply switch to confluence so I will switch to confluence page right or there was a link as well so this is the project a space that we have already linked in a couple of previous tutorials so i can simply go to this particular space which is basically mapped to this particular project right so this space is the space which we have considered that this is relevant relevant space for this particular project now here let me create a quick new page which i'll showcase to create the issues from the confluence so click on create and i'll name it as create I'll simply name the title as create issues in Jira and let's publish it. Okay. So say for example, this is your confluence page from where you want to create this. Okay. So simply edit this particular page. All right. And now if I want to create a issue within a Jira project, so project A RCV Academy, the first thing I have to do is say, for example, I can simply use a macro the first thing right so i can simply say jira okay so use this jira macro open it and then here we have seen that it is i can search for the issue and i i can also create issue so i can click on create new issue and then select the project so where i want to create the issue so i will select project a what is the issue type that i want to create say for example i want to create story and what is the story that i want to create so i will say test story just give me um, give some name there the test story from conf so that we know that this is what gets created all right and then if you want to add any description i'll simply copy and paste the same description there and click on insert right so what this does is it creates you can see that it has created the particular issue and it has assigned the id after the creation and the link on this particular page as well right i can use the shortcut as well so i can simply use the jira macro either but just typing here or directly from this drop down here okay view more and select the jira macro okay so this is how you will add single issue second option is say for example i want to add a story here okay so the other way is i simply write the story here okay so i can say test story from confluence 2 
okay and then you publish this particular so once i publish it you can see pra 9 has been created already after you publish this page you are in the view mode right so this is not in the edit mode at the moment this is the view mode if you want to create a issue for this particular text here that we have written so test story for from confluence 2 you simply highlight it okay so simply highlight that and then you will see the option for the comment and create issue I'll click on create issue and you will see a create issue pop up appear. Select the project where you want to create it, the type from the type drop down here, right? And then summary will be highlighted. If you want to add the description to this particular issue, you can add the description. I'll simply add the same description and then simply create. And as soon as you will click on create, there will be a test story from Confluence 2 that will get created into the Jira project. Okay. The disadvantage of this approach is that the linking won't happen so in this case the linking happened automatically but in this case the issue will get created so if you go back to this particular project and let's go to the backlog right you will see that test story from confluence 2 got created here with the id pra 10 this was the previous one pra 9 but in this particular case it did not link back in the confluence page okay but that's all good i think we can use other macros to pull out all the issues from the project into the confluence page now how you will create multiple issues from this confluence page so to create a multiple issue you simply go to the edit mode of the page all right and then you have to add the table all right so depending on how many issues you want to add you need two columns there okay so i'll remove one of the column and i will simply say summary okay and then description right because my story can have a description and summary so i will simply say for example this is the story that i want to copy and then let's put same description there change the numbers to three and four all right uh, let me add a few more rows there okay so i have four stories here so three four five six and the same is description once i have added the stories or the issues that i want to add into the jira project i will save them okay so i'll create a table add the summary and description and simply publish this particular page okay once you will publish this particular page there will be a table available we have to do the same thing we have to simply highlight the whole table the issues that you see there click on create issue and then by default it will create a single issue if you want to create multiple issue click on create multiple issues right and then you will have an option to map the columns that are there in the table right so say for example i have used summary for the summary what if say for example you have used some other column for the first one and the second one then that will be available here simply have to map those columns with the summary and description okay now once you have selected it and selected the project where you want to create these you have to specify what type of issue you want to create right so these are the stories so i'll select the story if they are different type of issues so for example issue, uh, epic or bug or task you select accordingly so i'll select the story and then you will see these issues will be created and it will list you all the issues that will be created once you are happy then click on create and automatically these issues four issues will will get created into project a hyphen rcb academy in the jira now it has been done so if you go back to this particular project you will see that automatically all these issues test story from confluence 3 4 5 and 6 have been created and all of them are of the type story if you see here all right so this is pretty simple but very powerful feature and if you you know want to use it it's pretty simple steps to add a single issue simply add a line there highlight it and you have to make sure that it, you are not in the edit mode if you are in the edit mode this option is not going to appear the create, create issue right so you have to make sure that you are in the view mode and not in the edit mode highlight the issue that you want to create say for example this one let me create an epic as well okay i'll show you so if i want to create an epic so i'll say so usually epic is a bigger piece of work that can span multiple sprints so for that you have to so say for example i want to create test epic and this is epic one 
So I'll just add the text there, publish it so that I'm not in the edit mode of the page anymore. And then I'll highlight this particular text, create issue, and the process is absolutely same, right? Instead of story, I will select epic and then summary will be available by default. I'll select the description. If I want to add the description. Otherwise, I can leave it blank. It's not mandatory. Click on create and we'll see that epic has been created. So if you go back to the project, you will see test epic from Confluence 1 has been created created and it appears here, right? So this is how you are going to create issues from a Confluence page to Jira project. So you can create single issue, multiple issue from the Confluence page and this will be really, really helpful for your project. So that's all for this particular tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.